Hey everyone, today I have this really old can of Bowman's Dehydrated Vegetable Mix for soups, stews, and salads. It serves eight people, vacuum packed. So when I open this, there should be a suction unless it somehow leaked, which it probably did, because this thing is really old. This thing is probably from the late 1920s, possibly even earlier. This is from British Columbia, Canada. These are the directions I will be following. Behind me, I have four cups of water boiling. Four cups of water in one quart. So I'm going to empty it out into there. It says cook in a covered pan until most of the water is absorbed. Now a quart is a lot of water. So this stuff, I'm expecting to expand a lot. And now you can see the packaging is in pretty good condition for its age. But here I can feel beneath the label, lots of decay. Meaning this thing got wet and there's rust underneath here expanding. And right here you can tell there might be some compromised areas underneath this. Here's some more instructions. I'm not going to be following these ones. Overall, the can's in pretty good condition. I'm going to remove the label before we open this because I want to see if the damage is bad on the outside. I'm not going to get this label off because it has literally rusted to the can. As you can see right here where I started removing it, it started ripping the label because the rust is holding it on. You can see there's some pitting, but I'm still unsure if it actually was able to penetrate into the can. We won't know that until we actually open it up. And we're going to open it up right now. Here we go. Get that thing on there. Absolutely no vacuum like it said there should be. That looks actually really good. What are those little pieces of noodle in there shaped like gears? If I didn't know better, I would think this piece here is bacon, but I know it's not. What's this smell like? For something that's probably 90 years old, at least, it smells pretty good. There's literally no odor like bad smell from it. it smells like spices I would consider this like oregano it smells just like oregano so I guess dehydrated fruit just about lasts forever I ate some dehydrated fruit from the dehydrated fruit from the 60s and that tasted okay actually when you dehydrate something it allows it to last like forever look at this look at the pieces so that, that should expand into a cube once I add it to the water. Look at it. Is it what is this supposed to be like alphabet soup? I see a 7 in there. Does it say anything like that? It doesn't say anything about it being alphabet soup or having the weird designs. It's fascinating. The inside of the can looks really shiny. Let's dump this out so we can see if there's any compromised areas. All looks good. Look at that. All the vegetable was jammed at the top of the can. Definitely looks like alphabets. So this is soup all by itself. Smells good. I can hear the water starting to violently boil. As a lot of old cans say. Inside of the can. Yep, the rust did get through in a few places. But we're still going to try this out because it seems to be okay. In order for rust to start doing that, this can got wet at some point in time. This is nice. The label, it's textured. 
it's raised. It feels nice. Now it shouldn't be feeling textured here because I'm feeling those rust bubbles. I think our water is just about ready. The stove looks all nasty and stuff, but it's still effective. The reason it looks all burnt and messed up is because I used this thing a while back for melting down lead into ingots. So I bet the people who package this probably never even imagined it would be cooked on an electric stove. Because back in these days, I think they did have gas stoves, but most of them were wood-burning. I gotta go grab something to stir this with. I just cannot see that, that amount of water being absorbed into that amount of vegetable like the instructions clearly says one quart of water. It says 12 to 15 minutes using your favorite recipe. So maybe it is just soup. It's got to be soup. It could, but it does say it until most of the water is absorbed. Okay. That's going to be my cover for now while I go grab something. How is our progress after just five minutes? Oh, well, that looks good. Got the broth and everything. The soup is now at about 10 minutes, so it's just about done. Now that it's cooked, it doesn't smell as good as it originally did, just like the time I ate 1950s pasta. Out of the box, it smells great, but once you cook it, it's, you can start to smell the rancid part in the noodles. That's what I'm starting to get now, a rancid odor. But before we actually do all this, I'm going to take a little dripper here, and I'm going to attempt to take a lead test. I'm going to fill up this little container. It doesn't matter that it's not clear, because once it's spread off onto the whatever you'd call it, onto this, it won't matter that it's brown. Now, we don't care about the pH and all that. I just want to see if there's any lead in this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down into here. Give it a little swirl. Take it out. And you see how it didn't really stain any of them, even though it's brown, because it's such a small layer. Now, I'm going to let this sit for a minute, just to make sure. There shouldn't be any, but it's possible, because back then they sealed cans with lead. The results are in. First off, things that don't matter, the hardness is 120, no chlorine, the iron, nope, no copper, and no lead. Great, there is no lead. Okay, so this is fine, there's no contaminants as far as metals. This has now been going almost 15 minutes. Go ahead and shut the stinger down. Move it over onto the cold burner. Get my spoon out. See what we have. Those noodles expanded to be huge. Look at the gears now. Let's get a little bit of a sniff. So, when I opened it up, you could really smell the oregano, whatever herbs were in there. Super nice. Now, it's smelling kind of musty. Let's try this out. To be honest, not too bad. It's bland, but that's about it. Okay, because a lot of people doubt that I actually taste test this stuff, I actually have to show myself doing it. So here we are. Take a look at the soup. Got a 
cool that down. That is hot. Really hot. Now that, now that's pretty good. It's really bland, but it's not terrible. In a survival situation that would keep you alive, this dehydrated soup mix definitely held up to the test of time better than any other food I've ever opened. 90 years almost a hundred years possibly this has held up its appearance looks the same flavor is just about non-existent the smell was great at first not so much now i don't encourage anybody to try anything old this is for an experimental use only let's pour this out see what we got going on Now I can show the soup up close. I also don't think it's supposed to be that tint. I think it's darker than it's supposed to be. Some of the vegetables. Because even though they're dehydrated, they're not supposed to lose their color like that. I don't even know what kind of vegetables these are. Tasting them, you're, you are clueless to what this stuff might be. But you can see the herbs all around the edge. That made it taste pretty good. And still, that rancidy smell that the water activated. It's one of those smells. It smells awesome when it's dry, but when it's wet, it's disgusting. I'm going to go ahead and feed this to the drain.